Welcome back to SA Live. Well, this weekend, you can enjoy the 24th annual Texas Clay Festival over in Green. There will be a lot of pottery, a lot of fun to be had, and plenty of demonstration ideas for you. Joining us today is Angie White, owner of the Barn Pottery, and y'all are located there in Green, and you are doing a type of pottery that is called what? Scraffito. Scraffito. Simply meaning to scratch through the surface. No. Oh. It's not as fancy of a definition as I expected. <laughs> <laughs> it is Italian, so, you know, it sounds fancy when we're saying it here. But um, basically what I'm doing is just uh, coating this white clay with a black slip over it, and we carve through. So that's the scraffito part of this. So that's how you start this process. And how yes. long have you been doing this? Uh, I have been doing this about eight years. Um, my aunt and uncle started the business that we now own, and it's been there 34 years. I worked there pretty much all of my schooling. That's where I learned. Um, my husband got his degree in the ceramics, so we kind of fell into this together. But And we're looking at some of the finished products right now, and that is incredibly beautiful, intricate Thank you. work. Thank you. You know, yeah. um, So uh, you're using a, a bunch of tools that I got to tell you, it looks something like out of a scary dentist office. <laughs> They're just simple clay tools. Um, it, most clay artists would know what, you're, what we're looking at here, but these are just simple little metal loop tools. Um, they carve through the clay when it's still leather hard. It's kind of like a hard butter okay. is how I would explain it. Okay. Um, and that's when I do my part of the process and just simply carving in these designs. Okay, so how would I get started here? Go ahead. You can take any of the tools that we have. Um, you can choose my weapon. Choose so to your speak. weapon. Okay. Yes, absolutely. All right. How about <laughs> um, that one? And you just start etching in. Uh, you'll start getting ideas from what you see uh, coming out of the clay. I'm looking around for ideas <laughs> right now. <laughs> and you can do a simple something as simple as spinning uh -huh. it, and uh -huh. then just oh, just kind of carving that along. like that. Okay. So you'll get different designs just by kind of playing with it. You can do straight lines. Um, very simply by just taking, there you go. I'm just going all go. the way. Oh, I lost it. Very okay, much, but actually that was okay. The same like this oh, there we go. Kind of like that. Yeah. Now, of course, the festival this weekend, the Texas Clay Festival, a lot's going to be going on at it. Correct. Yes. We'll have uh, 75 potters from all over Texas coming and doing uh, demonstrations. We'll have four tents where there's large dem throwing demonstrations going on. Uh, there's Raku firing, which is kind of a... What I like to say, an instant gratification pottery. Uh, this is very much a time-consuming process, so start to finish, we're about three months out. So uh, Raku is where they actually fire it in a pit and pull it out right in front of you, and it's done. Uh, so they'll be doing uh, a number of demonstrations that way uh, during during the show, and then all the artists will be set up, you know, selling their wares, and uh, it's very much an educational thing as it is fun to just come and shop. Uh, a lot of students from different schools and universities like to come to the show just to get ideas and inspiration. All so, right. So yeah. a lot of fun this weekend, and thank you so much. How am I doing over here? You're doing great. Yeah. Ta-da! There it is. It That's why it takes a long time to learn. So, right. yeah, you're not going to be... Awesome at it right away. Oh, so. I don't expect to be, no. The Texas Clay Festival is this weekend in the Green Historical District of New Braunfels. It kicks off at 10 a.m. Saturday, and admission is free. That's the best part. For more information, just head to salive.com, where we provide a link. We'll be back with more.